So, you've clicked on this video. You can't complain about me showing you these leaks. I've seen leaks for some of the Team of the Year cards that have come out or that are going to come out. And I figured I'd show them to you guys or make a video. Um, I know some people don't like leaks. I originally was against it. I don't really like leaks. But for promos like Team of the Year, we can guess most of the players in them anyway. It's just a 50-50 toss-up between some of them. I thought we'd have a look. So for the actual main Team of the Year, you can see what one of the cards is up on the top. But for the main Team of the Year, according to Foot Sheriff, who normally is reliable when I used to pay more attention to leaks, we're going to have Allison in goal. Now, I voted for Ter Stegen, but I definitely thought that Allison was going to get it due to a popularity contest. I think it's fair enough, though, him or Ter Stegen, I could see either way. And, wow, those stats look very, very good. I, again, I don't think these are confirmed stats. This guy obviously doesn't like leaks. But if they are, they're probably close to the truth. That is pretty good. I mean, it's a goalkeeper, really. And then we've got Frimpong, who's the guy I voted for. To be honest, I thought Trent was going to get him, but Jeremy Frimpong. Um, he'll be incredible with that 99 pace. Simple as that. Same goes for Theo Hernandez, except he'll be better on the defensive side. I mean, apparently, he's better at shooting and stuff as well, even though Frimpong, I would assume, has a lot more goals this season. Frimpong has like seven or something already this season. But in passing and dribbling, Frimpong's much better. Two centre-backs of Virgil van Dijk and Ruben Diaz. To be honest, I didn't vote for either. I went for John Stones and Saliba. I can get... Uh, I can understand both of them getting one. I actually made a PowerPoint, again, on my predictions for Team of the Year. But I didn't record it, and now I figured the, all the leaks are already out. It's just going to seem stupid. I actually predicted Van Dyke and Ruben. Di uh, sorry, I predicted Van Dyke and Saliba to get in Team of the Year, and Ruben Diaz to get an honourable mention. So I can understand how both of them got a card. Ruben Diaz, obviously, with the treble, but I feel like this season, in my opinion, hasn't performed as great. And Van Dyke was good last season, incredible this season. So I'd understand him a lot more. Um, which is fair enough that he gets in. Then we've got the midfield three. I feel like if it wasn't this midfield three, it would be a disgrace to football and to EAFC. That De Bruyne looks nasty. Hullet gang. That Bellingham's going to be the best centre mid in the game till the end of the game. And that Rodri. I'm assuming that 92 pace is a mistake and it should be 82. But if he had those stats, that would be... That would be insane. I'm not going to lie. And then... We get on to the attack, and let's 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 talk about this. Really, the highest rated team of the year is Messi. Now, I don't know if the stats are confirmed, and I hope the Messi didn't get one. Not because I'm a Messi hater or whatever. I love Messi and Ronaldo. But come on, man. How is he in the team of the year? I'm not going to go into the stats, but, like, just... I feel like with the Ballon d'Or... You get a lot of people who are biased towards Messi saying he deserved it, he deserved it. And you can kind of go, yeah, it wasn't deserved, but at least there's a reason. Like, you can say, yeah, fair enough. If you're going to weight World Cup that heavily, all right, we'll allow it. Then he's won FIFA the best for the year. It's like, come on. They're even using photos of him in his Argentina kit for everything. I know it's because it's FIFA the, pe the best, but it, it just makes you think of his World Cup and... The World Cup was not in 2023. I don't know how he's in this team of the year. I guess it's just because of fan votes. He would be very good in game, though. Let's not deny that 99 dribbling. And I forgot to mention, a lot of these players will have two play styles now. So if Messi, I wouldn't be surprised if he has... What does he have now? Technical dribbling, I'm guessing. I wouldn't be surprised if they give him finesse shot plus as well, which will be absolutely broken. Now you've got the two obvious ones, Mbappe and Haaland. Mbappe will probably have... Uh, technical and rapid. Harlem will probably add uh, power shot to his acrobatic, if I had to guess. Overall, pretty good team of the year. 12th man, probably between Harry Kane and Mohamed Salah, if I had to guess. Maybe Trent as the third option, but it'll be between Kane and Salah. Salah will probably win that, because Egyptians are... Because uh, Egyptians are crazy. Not in a bad way, but very passionate. Fans, he's basically like a god over there. Anyway, apparently this is the confirmed Team of the Year icons. Um, 
this guy, he says, one is an SBC unless EA do it 11 plus 12 player. Um, I'm guessing they mean 11 and then the 12th player. I don't know why I'm saying that's what I mean. It's literally what he wrote or she. I don't know if it's a he or she. Um, I will say, obviously, everyone's seen leaks for R9 and I think Vieira has been quite popularly leaked. I'm very happy to see a Mateus, a Philip Lahm, a Franck Ribéry, three Bayern Munich players for the promo, two women, two female icons, sorry. Um, apparently Mia Hamm's meant to be really, really OP. Georgie Best in there. They've got just question marks on the play styles here. I think all of these cards would be really good. I don't see any of them that would be fodder. Maybe you could consider Lam fodder, but hey, I'm not complaining. If I can afford Philip Lam, I'm very happy because he is one of my favorite players of all time. I say that about every single German player, basically. Um, and if you're wondering why a guy with an Australian accent, uh, not very thick one, but an Australian accent is loving German players and Bayern players. My family is from Munich and Hanover in Germany on my dad's side. And... I resonate with the culture, if you want to put it in those sort of words. And that doesn't mean I'm an alcoholic that likes drinking beers all the time. It's just German food, <laughs> German soccer, football, really. I watch as much as I can. And I'm trying to learn the language, but it is difficult for me. Big ups to Duolingo. Shout out to Duolingo. If this is not sponsored. Anyway. It obviously not. I've got no subscribers or views or anything. <laughs> Sorry, I've really got on a tangent here. What I wanted to say is, though, Ribery, I would have expected him to be a lot higher rated. I honestly would have expected, like, 94, similar to one of the Team of the Years he would have had back in the day on, like, FIFA 14 or something. I think he had a 95. I would have expected him to be basically the same rating as what Mia Ham. Like, maybe, yeah, him be 94 and then... I don't know, you can't really bring down any of these guys' rating. So, man, I don't know, I feel like 89 is low for a player like Frank Ribery. But I can't say I've ever seen Sawa or Mia Hamm play, but Mia Hamm's already base really high rated. I think all of these cards will be really good. I think Lam will be cheap. I think Xavi will be cheap, cheap for an icon. And I think SEM will be one of those ones that's probably around 500k. All of these cards look good, though. Petr Cech, don't know how good of a keeper he is on the game, I'll be real. Good to have a lot of promo cards in packs. I haven't seen a leak for the women's team of the year. I'll be honest, I saw that apparently Bon Matti's getting one. And Basha. Basha, I'm not sure. That could be a troll just because she's good on uh, EAFC. And Bon Matti, I feel like leaking her is just like the obvious one. It's like saying, guys, Harlan's getting a team of the year. Yeah, no shit. Obviously, he's going to get a team of the year. Obviously, Atana Bonmati is going to get a team of the year as well. She got, like, FIFA Women's Player of the Year. Ballon d'Or, I believe, Champions League, World Cup, won the league. I think it's the obvious one that she's going to be in there. So, no point leaking that. You can see it here. I mentioned it in my Schweinsteiger Player Review video, which, if you haven't watched... Go check. Just a little service announcement. If you are watching this, I really do apologize about the audio glitches in there. I obviously didn't want that to happen. That's just very frustrating because I've already deleted like the project off. Yes, I know, a bit embarrassing. I edit on iMovie on my phone, but I've already deleted the project over there, so I, I can't like repost it quickly. So I do apologize. And I also fucked up right after again. I deleted a video off my channel. I meant to delete a glitched one that hadn't posted, but then it deleted the actual one. Oh, I'm a shambles. Um, anyway, back to this video. Uh, I think it's literally just been uploaded as I'm recording this. It took a while to upload. Um, it's 11pm right now in Australia, so for once I'm not recording a video at 3, which is great. Um, oh, Cristiano Ronaldo flashback. He is my GOAT. No, that's not why I was slandering Messi, saying he doesn't deserve a team of the year at the start. I don't think this guy deserves one either. I didn't vote for him. I would like to see stats based more on his actual prime, so even lower the shooting a bit, up the pace a bit, and I'd like to see that striker change to a left wing or give him an alternate position of a left wing. 
and I'd love to see an old dynamic image of him used. Real Madrid kit would be great because you can just turn the white into just a white t-shirt and it'll probably look okay. But this, this dynamic image actually kind of goes hard with the t-shirt and the card background. This is a card I'm definitely going to want to be completing. I really hope they don't just do like an 87 flashback Ronaldo like they have done in the past. I want them to make him at least 90 rated or 91 rated, something like that. I said something similar in my Schweinsteiger video, which is kind of what prompted me to make this video as well. Second last leak we're going to look at, again, sorry, not again, but this isn't a card leak, but apparently we're getting two Team of the Year Evos set to come to Ultimate Seems Team soon. Expected release dates are the 19th and 20th of January. I don't know if that came up on the screen, but I'm recording this on the 17th, so in two days or three days, we should be getting one. Although I believe this is probably in the time of someone in Europe, so it's probably going to be in three or four days. When you're watching this, it'll probably be in two or three days. I'm really hoping for one I can put Gnabry into my my Centurion's Gnabry. It would be really annoying if I could fit the gold into one and make him like 93 and then have to discard the Centurion's. I, I don't know what I'd do in that situation. Team of the Year Evos, the card design, it will be cold as hell, I'm assuming. And it, we don't have many details in in here, but good to see the Evos are coming. We had one today, obviously, the Icon Evo. That was sick. I'll say it again. Check out my Schweinsteiger the review. Also, let me know if the intro is cringe. I think it's a little bit cringe. But anyway, the last league we're going to look at, it's not Team of the Year related. Somewhat is, though. Um, I don't care about who is in this. I care about who isn't, and that's Jamal Musiala. He bagged two goals, and I believe was man of the match in Bayern's game against Hoffenheim. Um had a great game overall and he's not in the team of the week which is very surprising which would lead me to believe that he might be getting some form of team of the year promo card i don't know could just be wishful thinking of me wanting a buy-in card but hey you can only hope hopefully you guys like this style of video um i don't know what i'm saying this style of video i'm literally looking at twitter and just chatting bollocks but if you have somehow made it this far thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye -bye.